Explain my Akeem 5. Eli 5, what happens if we drink too much water? As you drink excessive water you'll dilute the sodium in your bloodstream. The sodium in your cells will stay, relatively, normal. Water always wants to move to the higher concentration of sodium, if it exists, this is called osmosis. The excess water starts moving from your blood into your cells. Where this causes problems is it moving into your brain cells and causing your brain to swell. Since your brain is in a rigid container, your skull, when your brain swells it increases pressure on your brain. This is where the neurological symptoms come from, your brain swelling and increasing pressure on your brain. At first it is likely to present as some mild confusion. As it gets worse, you'll be more confused and may have nausea, vomiting. If it continues eventually the electrical system in your brain go haywire and you'll have seizures. Somewhere around here is where you'll die without medical treatment. One upside is as you become more confused the more likely you are to stop drinking water. From my understanding it'll basically slowly water down your blood until you either stop drinking or die. And some symptoms include, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, death. And it's a lot less water than you think it would be to kill someone. It takes about a gallon and a half to kill someone. But you might throw up after only drinking one third of that. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but this is what I've been taught slash have read in the past about it. When you drink too much water, it throws your electrolytes out of balance. Fluid outside of your cells tries to go into your cells to try to rebalance it, but then that makes your cells swell. Well when cells swell, that causes pressure to build up in your brain. Which is not good. Leads to things like headaches, irritability or mood swings, nausea and vomiting, and can also mess with your sensory input. And finally, the swelling cells can put pressure on your brain stem, which would lead to things like seizures, brain damage, and death, removed. The first thing that will happen is that electrolyte balance will get off. Your kidneys will excrete the water you don't need, but with that water you'll also lose sodium ions. This leads to sodium potassium imbalance in your cells, which can lead to low blood pressure, dizziness etc. Too much water washes the salt out of your system, causing a condition known as hyponatremia. You'll get lethargic and confused, and if you keep drinking more water you can develop convulsions, fall into a coma, and very possibly die. What would happen if I drink too much water mixed with the right salts to prevent osmosis in my cells? Are you thinking about putting in your application to r slash hydrohemis? So if you have too much water, can you just heat a handful of salt to balance it out? This guy, some URL, did a great video on exactly this. He explains, in depth, why it's dangerous to drink too much water. Jennifer Strange died from drinking too much water. Some URL. A Sacramento woman died in 2007 from drinking too much water. And hashtag X200B. Some URL. Same thing when you soak Cheerios in milk for too long. They expand until they explode into mush. Hyponatremia can happen. That's when there's too little salt in your body. It's life threatening. But it usually happens when people sweat a lot without replacing electrolytes while drinking lots of water. So I donate plasma kinda regularly and I'm told to drink about half my body weight in water the day, which would end up being a little more of a gallon per day. Even if that's spread out over the course of a day, is that still at risk of water poisoning? It isn't so easy to do all in one go, but chronic over drinking of water can lead to very low serum sodium levels at which point potentially life threatening seizures result. I've seen it. Source, once worked in the media lab at a state mental hospital that had three patients on 24 hours one-to-one -one care to keep them away from the water fountain. I may have missed another related comment, if so, please forgive me. Long-term and regular consumption of excessive amounts of water can also cause a variety of water intoxication called psychogenic, or primary, polydipsia, where with extreme electrolyte imbalance, a person is driven by a psychologically driven thirst. As a MH professional, I have seen it so bad that patients have to be monitored in the bathroom to keep them from drinking from the toilet bowl or peeing into cups to drink their own urine. Usually this is secondary to another psychosis or related to the effects, side effects, of chemical treatment of said disorder. There's actually a really good video on YouTube that describes this. Some URL. Basically the brain swells and the salt and body gets diluted. I believe it's called water intoxication. Brain swelling is always bad. To combat this they increase your salt levels, 
because the salt absorbs the water, it dilutes your blood. As your blood becomes more dilute the water wants to find other things to dilute. Your cells contain salts also, sodium etc. The water then moves into the cells to make everything equally dilute, osmosis, both in the cells, intracellular, and outside your cells, extracellular. This causes cellular swelling and dysfunction. This can cause brain dysfunction, such as fatigue, confusion and even coma. Removed, removed, but how much would you have to drink? Assuming we're measuring in Poland spring water bottles, water collects into your cells, causing them to swell up and expand, causing tissues and organs to do so. Usually, most of your organs can tolerate this except for the brain, since it's enclosed by a skull. As the brain swells up more it begins to push up on the skull causing brain damage. What about the age-old thing of drowning in the water in your lungs? Was always a cautionary tale for people taking ecstasy that you shouldn't keep drinking as much water as your mouth slash mind was telling you to because your lungs would fill up with water and you will drown? No one is talking about that? Is it not really a thing? Removed. Drinking of too much of water a day could put too much pressure on your kidneys. You could face kidney problems. Quantity of drinking water per day differs from person to person. Every person doesn't need equal amount of water. If you want to know how much of water is required to your body per day, there is way. Remember this, if you are drinking enough water in a given day, your pee color should be colorless, not in yellow color. On first day, drink only one liter of water and check for the color of pee when you go for peeing. If it is in yellow color, one liter is not enough for you. You need more than a liter of water. Second day. Drink 2 liters of water and check for the color and if it is still in yellow color you need more than 2 liters of water. Add 1 liter more to past 1 on 3rd day and on 4th and 5th day. One should finally stop at some level. It might be 1 or 2 or 3 or 4 or more liters of water you need per day. I assume those who do less physical work in a day need less water, 2 liters, than those like sports persons who do more physical work in a day, 3 to 4 liters. Source. Some URL. You'll pee it out. And if you drink enough and pee enough, you die. If you drink enough and don't pee you die as well, but faster. Here's why. Your kidneys are a filter that cleanses you blood through a lot of small filters called nephrons. Only thing is, the good stuff gets filtered out. Most of it re-enters your blood, but a little bit will end up in a rein. Usually this is no problem, as you just heat something to replace it. But if you drink too much, and I assume you mean clean water, you will lose too much of the good stuff. Most of that good stuff is sodium. Remember when I said that kidneys cleans blood? That's not all true. The kidneys actually cleanse plasma. Plasma is blood blood cells. Plasma is water with proteins and electrolytes. Most of this is sodium salts. Remember this. The body can roughly be split in two compartments, extracellular fluid, ECF, and intercellular fluid, ICF. The body likes balance. It's called homeostasis. Homeostasis is when the number of particles in the ECF and ICF is the same per liter. Remember sodium? Pretend sodium is all the particles in both compartments. If one compartment loses sodium, the concentration or number of particles per liter drops. We have to get that leveled. Sodium can't move between compartments but water can. So the compartment that lost sodium will donate water to the one that didn't. Now to your question. Plasma is ECF. When you drink water, you get more ECF. If you pee, you lose the water and you lose sodium. The concentration of sodium in ECF drops. Then water will travel into your cells to even put the concentration. This is okay for a little while. But if you keep it up, your cells will grow and if you keep it up more that burst. But you most likely won't make it that far. All cells can expand. But your brain is also cells, and they have limited space. So you'll pass out, and then die from lack of blood flow to your brain, due to blood cells being squeezed by growing cells. I know it's a long answer and lost 5 year olds probably won't get it, but it's a very complex system. I hope I clears it up a bit. Basically. Our cells fill up with water and swell up when we drink. If we drink too much our cells can end up exploding. Water always moves to where the concentration is lower, so it'll start to get in your cells probably wouldn't kill you unless you truly drank a ton. Anyone else click on this while chugging water? A few years back, 
I was into bodybuilding and decided to do a dry out which is basically drinking a shit ton of water for a few days and then stopping and not drinking anything for a day or so. This tricks your body into getting rid of excess water which continues even after you stop drinking it. It gives your muscles a more defined look because a lot of the subcutaneous water was forced out too. So after 2 days of drinking 4 gallons a day, I had flushed out so many electrolytes that I could hardly stretch my arm without it locking up and cramping. Not my smartest moment, correct me if I'm wrong, I'm probably wrong. When your body gets too much water, water goes into the cells of your body and eventually burst open, called hypotonic solution, killing the cells, because type of water transport called osmosis maintain equilibrium so water goes from high concentration to low concentration. Basically it overflows cell and also, water dilute bloodstream and blood sugars. Wait so now you can die from drinking too much water? Something else to add to my anxiety list, rolling eyes face, rolling eyes face.